Hello internet dwellers, I'm Oki and welcome to my trailer review for Sadako vs Kayako. The, this is actually the second trailer which means there's more footage and we get to judge the film a lot more. Um, as I stated in my previous Sadako vs Kayako video, I stated that I actually liked the teaser trailer for Sadako 3D when that came out. Um, but when I saw the second trailer for that film, I, well, my excitement kind of deflated. Thankfully, that was not the case with this trailer, and there are some things that I did not point out in the other trailer that I would like to point out here. So, without further ado, or without further ado, don't. instantly loved that. Um, I don't know if that footage is from the curse tape that they're going to be using in this film. I don't know if maybe they just reimagined the footage that's in the tape itself. Or that could also just be another random tape not related to the curse tape. I'm not sure, but I can't wait to find out. This is something I wanted to point out in the other video. I really like that they're not continuing the story from Sadako 3D uh, with the online video. I really like that they went back to the actual tape itself from the originals. That's, that's a good sign. Okay, this is another thing that I did not point out in the other video. This house, I guess it sort of looks like the original Sayaki house, um, but it's definitely not the house from uh, Beginning of the End or The Final Curse. And it can't be the house from The Final Curse because if you've seen that film, spoiler alert, uh, it was destroyed. So hopefully that means that they're not following that canon. <laughs> like hopefully they just completely erased those films. Um, even though I did enjoy Beginning of the End to an extent. Uh, I thought it was really enjoyable but nothing like past that. Um, so that's good. Okay, two things. One, I was kind of dreading the whole like theme song in the trailer thing. It sort of they kind of do this all the time with Japanese horror films. It'll start off with like great atmosphere and then it just cuts to mont a montage of scenes with a J-pop song. Um, usually I hate when they do that. Uh, in this case, the song isn't so bad, I guess. I, I think it kind of goes with it. Um, but the se second thing I want to point out here is this, what looks to be an exorcism. Actually, in the first video I did I paused it at the exorcism scene as well. Here we can actually see the actress's face. However, I still don't think that's one of the main characters. I want to say that this is maybe just a scene introducing the male character and the blind little girl. Um, I could be totally wrong, but I have a theory that those two are both psychic mediums. And so Tina Tamashiro's character, who runs into Kayako and the other character who finds the cursed tape. Um, I think they're both going to contact these two psychic mediums and that's how everyone's kind of going to meet up. Well, 
Like I said, I could be totally wrong, but that's just my my theory. Yikes. Huh. I paused it at the wrong part. That shot of the whole group together is is great. But <laughs> let's move on. Let me go back to let's see if I could find it. It's like the war okay here. No, right here. This now you could kind of see like there's hair being wrapped around Kayako. But it's not her own hair because in the previous shot if I can Previous shot, you can see that that same hair is coming down from Sadako. So I'm assuming this is a scene from the actual uh, fight. Now I'm praying to the gods and the demons that it's not an all-out fist fight uh, like Freddy vs. Jason, even though I actually like that film. And I think the sort of fist fight style in that film works, but when it comes to two ghosts, I, I really don't see it working. Um, so hopefully that's not the case, but it looks like they're having some sort of hair battle. Um, and something shoots out of Kayako's eye. I'm not going to be able to pause it at the right spot, but yeah. It, it kind of looked like hair as well, but you can't really tell what it is. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what the fight is going to be like. And hopefully it's not underwhelming because if you've seen uh, Tomia versus Tomia, the their confrontation lasts maybe a good two minutes before one Tomia shoves. I'm like spoiling all these movies for you guys. Tomia pushes <laughs> the other Tomia into some pit and like burns her and like that's it. There was still more to the film, but I mean when you have that title, you kind of expect more, right? Um, I've also heard that. Uh, Kuchisake Ona versus Hikiko-san. I haven't personally seen that film, but I heard that the confrontation of those two was really underwhelming as well. Um, so that's kind of tricky. But then I also don't hope they overdo it either. I hope that there's actually a decent build-up. I, I don't want it all to be like crazy fight the whole film. Another thing I wanted to point out was the characters. Uh, like I said, I think the male character and the blind girl are psychic mediums. And I want to say that the two other characters who probably don't know each other both go to them for help. And I love that shot of them all together. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, and if not, I probably just won't. Right there. That is the coolest thing. Those are my squad goals right there. <laughs> I'm really hoping that we get to know these characters a bit because uh, truthfully I didn't care about the characters in Sadako 3D. In Sadako 3D 2, I, I mean I cared about the little girl because she was cute but other than that there's really nothing grasping about them so I kind of hope that these characters are well written and Alright, so overall, I personally still think that the movie looks good. I have a lot of faith in the director. I mean, he did Noroi, he did uh, Carved, which is based on the Kuchisake Ona. He did Teke Teke, he did Cult. He's got a lot of really solid horror films under his belt. So I feel like they really did a good job in uh, picking him to go through with this. Oh, one more thing before I stop the video. We kind of get a better look at Kayako here. And I don't think that it's Takako Fuji. She, I mean, she kind of looks very similar to her, structurally, I guess, but I, I really don't think it's her. Yeah, I, I don't think it's her. Um, but it's definitely not the actress from the final or beginning of the end. I thought she did okay, that the actress from the, the newer films, but um, casting Takako Fuji would have been the cherry on top for me, I think. 
it's, I mean, not casting her is almost as bad as not casting Robert England as <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Uh, not quite that bad, but I want to say that it's, it's right by that line that they should not cross. Anyway, that's about all I have to say about the trailer. I'm hoping that the film will trend enough that uh, they'll release it internationally. I hope they don't just release it in Japan. Uh, I think it would be the, the coolest thing to be able to see it in the theater. Um, of course, that could be asking for too much, so if anything, I hope we get a Blu-ray and DVD release outside of Japan. Because usually when I buy DVDs from Japan, they don't have subtitles and it's kind of it's almost pointless, but I'm kind of weird that way. It depends on the film. So hopefully we get a proper release uh, in the US. And the UK, and Canada. The whole world, why not? Alright, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about the film. Uh, if you're excited, or if you're completely dreading it. Until uh, then, I will see you guys in my next video. Stay scared.